Hey guys, my name is Haley and today I'm going to be filming another book haul because there were a couple books that I picked up when I got home. Both of ones that I loved and just wanted to own physically that I read on ebook that I did not find in bookstores while me and Kate were book shopping. And then others that I also couldn't find when we were book shopping and don't have the ebook or the audiobook on my library. So I know I literally just hauled like 37 books, but Technically, I didn't add that much to my actual TBR pile because I've read almost half of these, maybe a little bit less, so that's how I'm justifying it, <laughs> but let's get right on into this haul. So the first book that I picked up was one that is probably going to be on my favorites of the year list, and it's pretty high up there as of right now, and that is You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. I read this maybe a month or two ago, and it was so good and one of the most bizarre books I've ever read. And I adore this cover and might even go on my favorite books of all time list. So I had to buy this. And then I picked up two of John Mars books that I don't own. I'm slowly collecting all of his books, even though I read all of them last summer. So I picked up two of them for very cheap on eBay, actually, not even where I normally buy books. But <laughs> I have When You Disappeared and The One. The One is probably still one of my favorites of his besides what lies between us so slowly building the John Mars collection <laughs> and then I picked up a recent read which I'm going to talk about in my wrap up here in a couple videos and that is Honey Girl I loved this so 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 much and I was shocked I thought it was just going to be a fun cute contemporary and it turned out to be so much more than that I loved the story I loved our main character I loved our cast and I love the writing style that Morgan Rogers had in this. I'm not gonna lie, I bumped this up on my TBR because there's a Monster X reference in it. <laughs> and I was shocked at how much I actually love the story itself. So I'm very excited to own this. Then I picked up another one that's gonna be on my favorites of the year and that is If I Was Your Girl. I know everyone and their mother read this when it came out several years ago and I never did and I'm kicking myself for waiting so long to read it because it was so good and so sad and so heartbreaking and so important. I also picked up Like a Love Story. This is just basically all the books that I read last month that I loved and needed to own physically. This cover is absolutely stunning and this book made me cry like a baby but also the middle of the book was very frustrating with teenage drama but made me cry like a baby because it has and addresses such an important topic of the AIDS epidemic in New York City in the 90s and it was so important and so heart-wrenching. Also I love the spine on this one. It looks very nice on the shelf. Oh, I'm filming this on a Saturday. I don't know if you can hear that but that's our tornado warning test that they do every Saturday at noon. <laughs> I'll wait for those to go off just in case you can hear it because I'm right in between both of them in my city. And then I picked up probably my favorite sapphic romance that I've read so far, other than maybe one of these other ones, and that is the Falling in Love montage. This was another one I thought was just going to be a cute little contemporary, and it was so, 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 so good. Also, I adore this cover. It's so pretty. and looks great in the, like, pastel pile I've got going on over here on my contemporary shelf. <laughs> and then, of course, I picked up both of Casey McQuiston's books because I love her writing and her character so much. This was so so good and you'll hear me talk about it in my wrap up here soon. And also obviously me and the rest of the world love Red, White, and Royal Blue. And that's my stack of ones I've already read. I think I'm almost literally 50-50 of ones I have read and haven't read so we're doing okay on the TBR pile. <laughs> And then I picked up The Idiot by Dostoevsky. Me and Kate are going to do a buddy read of this. This is one of her favorite books of all time and definitely one of her favorites of last year, I believe. And I know that I will not be able to listen to a 20 plus hour audiobook of this, so I picked it up physically. Also, I love these editions. So I'm hoping I really enjoy this because this is on the TBR pile that Kate gave me to read before the end of the year. <laughs> and then we have Out of the Blue. The only thing I know about this is that it's an angel romance, which if you have been here for a couple of months, one of my favorite books of this year so far is Into This River I Drown by TJ Klune, which is also literally an angel romance and quite literally Destiel fan fiction. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for out of this. <laughs> and then we have The Dark Beneath the Ice. All I know about this is that it's a thriller, but I kept seeing it recommended. And also has this really cool, like, at the beginning of each page. I feel like not enough people do like cool artwork at the top of each page like we used to with older books and I kind of miss it so 
This sounds like a paranormal thriller, so I'm very excited to get to it because it was very cheap. So I figured I would pick it up since none of my libraries had it. And then we have the ones we're meant to find. I honestly didn't know very much about this, but for one, I adore this cover. For two, I think it takes place after a bunch of natural disasters and it follows two girls. And I keep hearing it described as just a very strange, interesting book. And it kind of gave me Neverworld Wake vibes, not in the whole like living the same day over and over again, but just like the strangeness of the story. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for going into this. If any of you have read this, please let me know. I know this is a newer book and just came out, but I also was actively looking for this in all of the bookstores that we went to and never found it. So I just ended up buying it. <laughs> Then we have Birthday. This is Meredith Russo's other book. Same author as If I Was Your Girl. And Kate has said that she prefers this to the other one. And considering the other one was a five stars and made me sob my eyes out, I can't even imagine the emotional impact that this one is going to have on me. And I'm kind of scared, but so excited to read more Meredith Russo. And then I have another Kate recommendation. Who's surprised? This is one of her favorite books of the year. And she said this one is basically just a big commentary on pandemics and epidemics and that type of thing. She also said this reminded her of a Naruto character. I'm not familiar with Naruto, but I know that this has something to do with a person who grows up and is followed by bees, which just sounds fascinating and magical realism-y to me. So I'm very excited about that on top of the pandemic references that I'm sure are very excessive in this. <laughs> That is one thing I've noticed I'm really interested in is people talking about pandemics, even if it was about the Spanish flu, which I believe this one is about, in the fact that humans always react to them pretty much the same, but we're just bad at remembering history. So very excited for this commentary. <laughs> and then last, I have The Shelf. This is the author of The Couple, where is it? Right there, which is, again, one of my favorite books of the year so far. So I picked up her other book. And the only thing I know about this is that it turns into, she thinks she's going on vacation with like her boyfriend and it turns into some sort of Big Brothers episode where she's on a reality TV show that she did not sign up for. So I do not watch Big Brother. I am very familiar with it, like with the concept of it though. So I'm very excited to read her other book because I also really love the couple and I'm hoping it wasn't a one-off of this author's works. <laughs> I am not going to be able to pick up all of those, but here are the ones that I have read. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this book haul and don't judge me for not immediately going on a book buying ban, but I am now. <laughs> but thank you all for watching. Let me know if you've read any of these books in the comments down below and I will see all of you guys next time.